Hi everyone, welcome to the job video lecture series. In the previous video, we have learned about the calendar class. And in this video, I will tell you about local date class and local time class. Okay. So, first of all, I asked you in my previous video to play with the different options in the calendar class. If you have or had any doubt, then please comment on that video and I will reach you as soon as possible for me. Okay. So let's continue to today's video that is local date. You, first of all, we need to initialize local date. Let's name this LD is equal to first of all to initialize it. We have a method called dot now now method which initialize with the local current or local date or time. For example, if if we are initializing local date and we will say local date dot now then it will initialize with the current date okay and it belongs to the java dot time package similarly just initialize local time lt is equal to local time dot now okay it is also it also belongs to the time package okay now just try to print what is LT and LT that is local date dot now and local date dot local time dot now I'm just copying it and I will just change the letter from D to T say this and run this program you can see that in the first we are getting the current date system of the format first year month and day and you can see that here we are getting the current date we are not forced to add one to the month here here you can see the time okay so you can also play with different options available in this for example we want to print or we want to retrieve the values of ld dot get and here you will say get year we want only year okay and just say in the next ld dot get month or let's say day of month save this and run this program you can see that here we are getting day of the month is 11th that is today's date year is 2017 current time is this and full time is this for example we want to call that this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or which day. So what we will say? LD dot get day of week. Now save this and run this. You can see that today is Monday. So in this way you can just play with the different options available in the local date and local time class which initialize the current time and date by default using the now method. So that's it for this video. In the next video I will tell you about the instance of keyword and I highly recommend you to just play with the different options available in that calendar class, date class, local date class and local time class because I cannot cover the, all of them. I am just giving you an overview how you can just play with them and how you can initialize them or how you can get started with them. So till then stay tuned. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye. See you soon.